What's going on guys, Saga Police are coming at you with another Pokemon Legends RCS video. Last video we left off right before uh, the Sebi, I, I believe. Sabi, that's who she is. Um, in order to get Hisuian Braviary, so pretty much we will have to defeat her in order to get him. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something. I saw you flying with bravery. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however, the future turns out flying without bra with bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly very fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Now get ready, cause here come. Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire. All three of them. Go. All three at Wait, what? All three at once? Crud. Slagoo. Or is it, uh... Yeah, all three at once. Okay. Thunder Punch. Paralysis. Flamethrower. Oof. That's effective. Hi. Seriously, I can't even battle with <laughs> this. This is messed up on so many levels because of the fact that uh, I won't even be able to battle. So, was it 30, 30, 50? Okay. That's fine. Take out the Rhyperior first because he will be a pain. But the Electivire is going to. Thunder Wave. Uh, okay. My Mortar. High Horsepower. Oof. That took me down to less than half. Thunder Punch. Super effective. Alright. Man. Alright. Uh, Slugoo's down. Ice. Alright. Bergmite. You are the weakest here. But flamethrowers okay yeah that uh, uh great that was meaningless all right clever hey vey vey you're kidding me rock slide you have to be kidding me i cannot win because it's three on one, man. Seriously, this is a uh, definitely not. Uh, I can't even get an attack in. All right, crunch on Rhyperior. I could not even get an attack in for like two Pokemon, and then Growlithe is defeated, leaving only my Star Raptor. All right. All that's left is Seraphir. Okay, horrible start today. Wow. All right. This is a horrible start on the entire account because Star Raptor is weak against Electric types. So, yeah. And then flamethrower. Oof. All right. And then the Electivire just beats me. No? Okay. Huh. Flamethrower, yeah. Literally. Huh. Okay. Aerial Ace on the Mag Mortar. But it won't do us any good because literally, uh, Seraptor is done for. Because. One thing, and that was. 3v1, what the heck? You were defeating Battle Dragon with a stronger team. Alright. Teleport back. And get Haunter. Uh, stay up. See my Pokemon. Let me get my Haunter. Uh, 
and then run all the way back there. Or at least to the falls. So we'll do. Literally that whole fight 3v1 still don't understand why they can't let me do like have it be a proper battle like three on three or something Targeted by man, this is one thing I probably do somewhat hate about uh, Legend of Arceus. Everything is fun because I mean you can catch Pokemon without having to battle them. But uh, the only thing that is annoying is the fact that. I literally have to uh, take on multiple Pokemon with just one, which is so not fair in what, whatever way, shape, or form. But thankfully, I remembered the way. So she's right above me. Dang. Yeah, that is true. I'm just gonna go the way I went last time. Just running past everything. I mean, all my Pokemon, are, yeah, all my Pokemon are pretty much over level 40, so yeah, only Growlithe is level 50, but that's fine. Okay, this way. And then around the corner. Oh, okay, I don't even need to hit the doors anymore. So, I mean, if you want the code for that, link to the guide is in the description. And also, if you just go to the last video, you'll be able to see the code being put in. But, yeah. Um, or just watch till the end, and the code will be there. Uh, this way. Man, I wish you could have run, like, a, a lot more than before. Oof. Man. I don't know why they shoved an alpha right in front there. Because that's kind of uh, annoying. I guess you can't go f past that point, so that's good. Okay, yeah, that's just empty space. Oof, all right. Alright, take her on once more. Uh, flying with Ray Ray isn't easy, yada yada. Gonna take us on? Yep. Thankfully, I don't lose anything when I take her on. So, yeah. That's the bright side to this. Downside is the fact that... Uh, that she gets to make the first move. Okay, never mind. Aqua Jet or... Water Pulse, actually. That's better. Water Pulse is stronger. Okay, Rhyperion is defeated. Rhyperior er, is defeated. Thunder Wave, okay. Only Paralysis sets in. <sighs> Excuse me. Flamethrower is meaningless. Thunder Punch takes the cake. 
Flamethrower again. Man. Alright. So, next. Sligu. I can water pulse him. Electivire looking around. Flamethrower. Oof. That's super effective. Though I do have a full out water pulse. Magmortar is defeated. Now the Electifier Thunder Punch. Not very effective. Okay. 100% Dragon Pulse. 100 power Dragon Pulse. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, so close. So close. Just like a tiny bit left. And there goes Nice Lagoo, man. Yeah, I'll just Rock Slider crunch him. But Growlithe, I do want him to evolve. And with that, the battle has ended. Make my way over to the shot Sebi's face. Sabi's face. Alright. Only two Pokemon don't get XP, which sucks. Wow, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far, but Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, I'm down two Pokemon, but that's better than being down a whole team. So, I mean, uh, I'll get... I'll, uh, have Boralith be on standby, main lead. So I guess we have to beat Braviary 2 and okay. Hmm. Yeah, Corridor. Cutscene. Okay. Alright, Braviary, why not test out Saga's strength for yourself? Growlithe. Here we go. 54 day Brave Bird. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's gonna huh. fight. Alright. Growlith Crunch. Even if Growlith is defeated here. I can bring out another Pokemon to finish this. And with that, we do get a Braviary, so. Oh, I was gonna say, would be taken down by its own uh, recoil, but no, Haunter. Let's have Haunter deal the final blow with a Shadow Ball. Boom. Braviary defeated. And we got ourselves a Braviary as a ride Pokemon. Sweet! Alright. I can't believe Braviary lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll be he I'll head home now. Bye. <laughs> hey. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Braviary opened his heart and learned well the song you play, sound you play. But we got finally got our Braviary. Now we don't have to go anywhere. We can just fly everywhere. Though I can't, I hate that we can't use the plates. Thanks, Sabi. Sure, having Saga to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live together, live and work together, huh? Tell me, what do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? 
Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger, or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and quell the last noble calm Avalog, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us would have been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamin. Hush, Savvy. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if you, if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh himself, myself. The question is, does listening to Adamin fascinate you or bore you to tears, hmm? Anyway, Saga, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to take the Eternal Ice. That's why you needed Braviary in the first place, right? Wait, so can Braviary fly me anywhere, or do I have to glide everywhere? That's a di big difference. Avalog's legacy is down there. Yep. Now, to go get a feel for flying with Braviary when you, you've done soaring you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Alright, and then we get the proper explanation. Call Braviary and glide. With Braviary as you can fly high up into the sky and explore different areas of Heasley from the air. Some are Braviary using plus, like normal. Whenever you may be, wherever you may be, you can put us A if you're falling from some height to summon him in a flash. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so pretty much we can fly. And here we are. Do I have to, like... Okay. Just unsummon him. Are these salts? Yeah. Your arc phone is beeping. Oh. Hmm. Obtained a piece of eternal ice. Okay. Ice, beloved by the Lord of Tundra Avalog, said to be fragments of the ancient Avalog that lived long ago. Lived long ago. Wahahaha. Why is he, at last this summit is conquered? And I see you made it, too. <laughs> Flew down to this place and obtained eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning ze zeal of yours, I wonder? So, I mean, this is the first time we actually ha caught an item for the bombs. Ger you gave Garrick the eternal ice. Usually, the whoever someone would always get them and then make them on the spot, and we battle. <laughs> I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may still... Still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Alright? Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. He's a muscle freak. Till next time we meet. Alright, so... Before we get... So, I mean... Okay, we don't have to go as far, but... Before that... I'm gonna head to the back... To the camp here. And, uh... First rest up... And then Avalug is an ice and rock type, so uh, want to see my Pokemon. This is the Bergmite I pick, so I forgot Zora is a ghost type. Do it in place a Hauntor, who I shall move like to down here. Oh wow. There, alright. 
And then Braviary. Can you not go any higher? No, I guess not. Honestly, I think it would be faster if I went like... Yeah, this is faster. So I guess he's only good for whenever uh, you're going to uh, fly or like you're on a high ground. So yeah. Capricorns. All right. Why, if it isn't Saga, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Sure. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the feet fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training all your all. Nothing better for building muscles than that. Onward now to the arena. Alright. Hmm, yes. Well, I did want to see that Avalog, and perhaps not at the cost of my lice. life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. <laughs> okay. All right, so let us continue running. All right. So we are all to quell Avalok, as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the, the way that you'd walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using the, that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be only a moment's work. And there you have it. If you try to truly wish to quell Avalok, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalok will hurl chunks of ice at you with rel without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Alright, so spamming Y. Whoa. Controller shaking. Oof. Yeah, he's massive. My god. It's basically seeing like a kaiju. Oh my god. This guy is massive. I'm, wait, so am I only set up in here? Okay, so that's the ice chunks. Okay.
Oof. I cannot, like, dodge. Oh my god. Samurai. Okay, I didn't know if Samurai actually hit or not, but get back. That's for sure. Water Pulse. Right? Level 56, dang. Alright. Throw, throw, throw. Come on, come on, come on. Back up. Alright. Some of them, like blend in with each other, so kind of hard to see. But down the middle to there to there. All right, ice chunks now. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am out to faint. Camera. Okay, there we go. Those ice chunks are getting to me. Ooh, fight. Water pulse. Yeah. Those ice chunks actually may take me down before anything. Right? Avalog is defeated. Come on, come on, come on. Throw, 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 throw. Okay. down the middle yeah I'm really like one out here oof okay Well, I st oh man, just one one hit and I'm down. Dang, dang! I did take a lot of damage from those ice chunks. Brief window of vulnerability. Yeah, attempt to spell again. Continue. All right. If you choose to commit, continue the battle. You can carry over some of the progress you've made on to play the. Uh, keep the previous progress. Yes. Though you that really has not happened previously okay yeah okay so it's those bars that are my progress okay yeah i'm starting from halfway which works for me um sorry for not talking as much this is really time focusing Whoa. Oof. Okay. Better damage taken. Oh. All right.
Alright. Samurai. Show I have a load your power. Alright. Water pulse. Alright. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oof. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Holy cow, I am in the middle here. Okay. Ooh, man. That's what I get for being towards the back. Dodge. What the? I mean, can't take any more damage, but... Just a little bit, and I'm fine. I'm in the clear. Here. And now. Alright, Samurai. Let's end this. Fight. Water pulse. Alright, have a look. Okay. And this'll be it. Man. I almost died, fainted twice. Man. <sighs> These noble fights are kind of really stress inducing. Whew, that is a lot of level ups. And Bergman can evolve, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Received the ice icicle plate. But wait, why didn't Kevlar? Is Kevlar fainted? Yeah, he's probably fainted. Dang, that would have been some good level ups for him. good level up for him. Hmm. Garrick, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But but seeing a mighty Avila quelled and by such a slight child. A child that fell from the very sky. Is this Saga boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He is the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Saga. Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the diamond clan and your galaxy team would cause our people to flag and to flag in their devotion to almighty Sinnoh. but that will change irida 
I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Sokka has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon, Glaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've re already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Saga. <laughs> you quelled the last frenzied noble. So is the space time rift going to start closing up now or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we, we've got Saga. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Yurida? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh. But you pro clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay a grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll really crack a smile for us. <laughs> Alright, but before that, um, there are a few locations I need to pop in. Um, Braviary. This wasn't even that far. Lost Satchel. I'm gonna try and get a couple merit points in order to uh, Oh, I can't go any farther here. Man. All right, so that's it. So, pro oh, Pearl Clan's all settled up here. Huh, let's go check it out. So that was the village I saw. Can I, yeah, okay, I can fly in this direction. Can I go that way? Cause I hit that wall, so. Or wait, this is the direction of the uh, satchel. Glacier Terrace. Bingo. So am I? Yeah, okay. I am there. Next is here. Let's go up higher. That's an alpha. That chingling is it. Oof, what the What the heck? I'm trying to switch to Braviary. There we are. Okay, yeah, so I I thought Proclaim would be in like a different location, kind of. Okay, I can hold B to dash.
Wait, something was blue here. Oh, no, it was green. It was a uh, evolution. Oof, back up. Apricorn. And with that, uh, I do kind of want to clear up some things on the map. Why am I like diving in order to dash? Yeah. Literally, uh, Braviary is diving to dash. Like get some of these areas open, you could say. I mean, heck, we hardly ever went uh, anywhere near this place. I mean, everything. Ooh, sorry, that was a timer for me to do some classwork, schoolwork. Okay, going up, up, up. Okay, why is this like shining? I can't investigate this, whatever it is. Lucario. Ah. Okay, uh, best thing against steel type, Growlithe. If I can catch an Alpha Lucario, I'll be happy. Level 70, ooh, ooh. Bulk up, all right. Fire Fang. Ooh. Yeah, the level difference is kind of major here. Ooh. Man, that hurt. That one hurt. Uh... Dragon types aren't effective. Growlithe is down. Er Alright. Clevor with area lace. If I could get this Lucario, I'll be super happy. Even if it means I have to use up all my Pokemon. Oof. Alright. Yeah, each Pokemon will be getting one hit in, so. Hopefully. Staraptor. Area lace. Once more. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Okay, okay, okay. Um Got to be careful here. Let's do Berg my first. Berg my first. Okay. Though I know it's going to get defeat Ooh. Seriously? I can't even get an attack in. Or do anything in. Okay. Sligoo. 
item. Great ball. Okay. Yes! Yes! Alpha Lucario, guys. <sighs> Incredible! Alright. Now, transport here. Uh, rest everyone up. Oh my god! That is the best thing. This is the... Though I won't be able to, uh... I have to rank up in order to make use of them. Which is sad. Sucks, but... Still, level 70 Lucario Alpha. An Alpha Lucario. I am happy. So, Doc got 17 Pokemon. Huh. I mean, yeah, 17. A lot, uh, 17, 10 or more achieved, 9 different species, 9 first ca time caught, 4 backstrike, 1 Alpha. Alright. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. All right. So Saravia, Gumi, Clevor, Samra are completed. Slugus, Up, Snorunt, all these guys. Wait, what's Lucario at? Five, okay. 680, yeah. I mean, eh. Yeah. Managed Quor well, Lord Avalok, fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is eagerly waiting for your report to the village. Ah, excuse me. So, I mean, whew. But, yeah, I mean, uh, what is it? What, uh, um, let me, lost and found, get these guys their satchels back. Okay. And you. 52, wow, that's, uh. That sucks. Alright. I mean... Whew. Oh my god, he is like tall. Oh my god, I am happy here. I am super happy. Commander. Wrong place. Um... Up. Eh, I can upgrade my satchel later. Alright. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of a mysterious time rift, mysterious rift born helper. Well, when tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a new world, restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Except me, I ended up here. I can't go back to normal. Go, go, nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good, a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Alright. And also, Ber the Bergmite could evolve. Ooh, I should probably do that. Have Bergmite evolve before anything. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focused on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if Saga hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Saga stranded here? I guess so. 
Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Saga. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us. It'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget that we've got our sights on nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right. We'll get it done with Saga in the lead and me as a the Valiant Assistant. Assistant, come now, Ocari. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks to, for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I'm gonna have the Bergmite evolve. And then, uh... Who knows? Depends on... But yeah, I'll end the video. I can end the video off there, I guess. Kaboom! Bakoom! That would, that's what it was. Bakoom! <laughs> Happening at night. Disaster looming. Okay. Oh yeah, this is my storage. Move all at once. Move all at once. Okay. Discard. Move all at once. Alright. Now cutscenes more. Oh. Saga. It's expanding. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've... I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Alright. Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all nobles, didn't you? That can wait. This is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Clevor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Saga fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Saga? I don't know. I don't really know. Indeed. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? He's blaming me for everything. I did nothing. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Saga has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got this, the sort of fearsome power I'd take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who can guarantee he is who he says? Who can, here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's, no one can do that. Oops. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Saga supposed to do then? We will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect until he can clear his name. The, 
There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond a doubt. Beyond doubt. Is that clear, Selene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Saga? Do, do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of Gal the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual dis skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Wow. You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Orders are orders. <clears throat> Let's go. Man, wait, then what about all my Pokemon in the pasture? Do I not have access to them now? <laughs> what? I'm basically dead man walking here. Can it really be true? Man, how could anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. Not saying anything. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village into the Freeland Fieldland camps. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the F Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Wow. That is, uh, that is a bit effed up. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absolutely unscientific. As a man of science, I must find such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Saga more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already turned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to find Leanne first. He's likely at the Grand F Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you will all need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All, the tru all that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values yeah what of the dream i had shared with you the on prelude beach to complete the boga decks that dream simply won't come true without you all right so i guess i can end the video off here uh so yeah we are exiled and we can't do anything about it wow that's definitely suck that definitely sucks a lot but this is Saga Plays, signing out. Bye, guys.